go. Streaming from South Africa to the world. To the world. This is the Stonks Go Moon podcast. What just happened? We break it down so you don't have to. Welcome everyone to the Stonks Go Moon podcast. My guest today, Jonathan Akowitz, founder of Start With Me. Welcome to the pod. Thank you for having me. So, so it's excited to talk about our topic today, which is online dating. It's a proverbial battlefield out there. Um, tell me, how did you get started in this industry? I know we spoke a bit off air, born in Germany, uh, 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 living in America now, fully immersed in the culture. You served in the Marines. So thank you for your service, especially on today, which are, we are recording on 9-11. Uh, prayers to the fallen and the first responders. Um, yeah, how did you get into online dating? So, I've always believed strongly in love. Okay. And then, so fast forward throughout life, I ended up getting on the Marine Corps and then getting married and to the person that I believe was my soulmate. Yeah. And then I was addressing my PTSD through the Marine Corps. Uh, my marriage fell apart. Wow. And the okay. force hit. And I ended up spiraling down. It's like a suicidal depression. It got pretty dark. Jeez. Okay. And then as I found my reason for continuing, yeah. I uh, started crawling my way back out and then doing the work. And as I was doing the self work to understand myself and understand where i was because my entire world crumbled i didn't even understand who i was anymore right i lost my job i lost my home i lost my marriage i lost everything because i fell apart and then mm. as i was rebuilding and trying to understand who i was it involved having to go back and look at the marriage and trying to reflect on all the things that failed where could i have done better where were my problems and then when you start really deep diving and uncovering a lot of things it established a different version of who I was mm. and then when I re-entered the dating world I started looking around I could just see the pain everywhere like it was just everyone was 90% for the first year back in the dating world are all the first conversations were about well why'd your marriage fail what's wrong with you and what's yeah. like what's going on it's just like that was the way people were dating well because of my age range right I'll be 40 yes. at the end of this month yes so being a divorced single getting back out there was everyone was in a lot of pain and they didn't even understand themselves and that was the really crazy part was when my tinder date started turning into what felt like unofficial therapy sessions mm, mm, of telling mm. people to get you just go reflect and look at yourself like what is it that you want what is it that you're trying to get out of the world what are you trying to find in this relationship like who are you yeah and, like when you're yeah. asking people to get to know them and like you're like hey what are your hobbies what are the things you do for fun and you're like well i sit around and watch netflix <laughs> and i also feel like a lot of online dating is um so superficial in the sense of um you are basically put in a box of a picture right so it's it's this it, there's no nuance into who is jonathan what is he about what is sort of his background it's like do i like what do i like this one picture that i'm seeing swipe left swipe right and that's to me is absolutely absurd it makes a little bit of sense to me because there's the the actual like attraction part right yeah the attraction yeah part okay that you're into. okay so there's like a wave of filtering that i i kind of correlate through gathering all the information that a lot of people will do is there's the initial filtering determine yeah, yeah. whether you like or don't like or like am i attracted to you enough to consider going forward right you're filtering your first level of the pool and then you get into the next one where you're like okay well are you a type of person that i want to enjoy the conversation with Okay. Are you type of person where I spend an evening with and that's kind of the end of our togetherness or like what kind of person do we mesh into as we grow? And it was just like learning all of this as you start getting in. It's just okay. like this competitive pattern. My theory behind a lot of it is to do with the fact that society's blending over such large areas. They're like cities and social realms, people's like traditional backgrounds no longer mean nearly as much. So now they're trying to find a new way of dating. 
Interesting. In, in a shortcut path, people are just going straight to. All right. Okay. So, so you boom, you face with that reality, and, and then at what point did you say, okay, cool, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna try and um, uh, disrupt this industry. Um, at a certain point, it was a combination of why can't I find anyone emotionally intelligent who's <laughs> aware of themselves themselves and <laughs> uh, sitting with somebody while they do their work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there was the uh, combination of I heard a couple comments, it, it plays to my ego, I guess you could say, but I heard a couple comments like, You are my self development personal like goals. Which I thought was mm. okay, that's the, guy, the guy who wow. okay. was not a much intelligent prior to any of this okay okay i started like reflecting on things and then as my seven-year-old is growing up mm. i realized it's like the generation that he gets in 10 years according to the way society's going in the direction we're going mm -hmm. divorce is going to be worse off than it is Mm. And we're going to be more disconnected. And I'd be surprised mm. if he even gets married in the first place, let alone mm. most likely we'll have a two, second and third marriage, give or take, if we're continuing down the path we're going. Okay. So, and did you have any coding experience or startup experience? So tell me uh, about that. How? Did, because, I mean, starting, like, you can have this realization, but then to get into a business is a whole different kettle of fish. Well, so that kind of lends to some of my background prior to going down that dark tunnel. Oh, okay. After the Marine Corps, I became a bodyguard and I traveled around the oh. world with celebrities and CEOs, like red Ooh. carpet events and all the private events. Yes. So you find a couple of TV shows and stuff in the background. Oh, awesome, man. Love it. Uh, but working with these guys, I started working with a lot of tech CEOs here in the Silicon Valley. And uh, at a certain point, out of the 20 plus clients that I worked with, I was only walked away from one of them going, holy crap, that guy's smart. <laughs> I never have met anyone that was like, I never came to the realization that succeeding in tech is actually an unreachable goal. Uh, so after working with people in this yeah. caliber all the yes. time in a whole different context, yeah a kind of eroded the concept that i couldn't get there so then i read the realization i was like i can get there i just gotta chart path down that path yeah yeah so yeah. i got by using my gi bill and i got a uh advertising art director degree and a graphic design degree out of the academy okay. of arts okay okay cool and i transitioned over into marketing department at a tech company out of bodyguard work and self-taught my way into software engineering wow okay so I became a product software engineer with a design background. And then I was just, I've always been a chase your passion kind of guy. So I just don't pay attention to the rest of the world. I just do what I want. Yes, yes, yes. And um, when my world crumbled, my, I started looking back at everything and I was like, dude, I was like, I have a tech background, a design background. I can make a company. It's been my dream and passion is to make my own company. I've started. Yeah. Like, one or two startups that basically went nowhere because I had no idea how to build a tech company. Mm -hmm. But I started like that kind of correlated back into like, who am I again? What am I doing? How am I going to rebuild my life and who I am? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I still have that drive and passion to have my own company. Yes. I was like, where can I get behind a cause that would actually provide value? At the same okay. time that I'm dwelling about, holy crap, man, my son's met like love life when he gets older is going to be a massive failure unless society goes in a different direction yeah it's like what? Okay. Okay. What? And then like, one day i just connected the two dots i was like wait i have all the tools yeah why am i waiting for somebody else to build it why don't i just build yeah. it myself this is what i need to do so it's building from a different perspective uh talk to me about some of the things that you're doing differently that okay so i mean you've got bumble you've got hinge um you mentioned tinder what is it that start with me is doing differently or what you want to do differently or or do you want to do it differently but or do you just want to tweak it here and there uh i want to do it differently but at the same time is a nine billion dollar market already yeah 
Yeah, you don't reinvent the you you don't reinvent the wheel just because. Exactly. And plus, I don't think they're totally off with the interaction of meeting people online in the fashion of dating apps. I don't think I think the concept of doing it is great. I think the environment that they're set around it is probably more of the biggest problem around the thing, right? Because you're creating an ecosystem of like. So when I was doing all the research for this, one thing that kind of came out is like dating apps had a stereotypical expectation of what you would get when you go to that environment or that community, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like Tinder's a hookup, Hinge is like almost serious but not serious. Bumble was serious until they kind of went back on their own morals. Okay. I guess because okay. Bumble was originally oriented towards women making the first move. Yes, and what did they do then? Because I'm not so good up to. What, they what removed I... that. They oh. removed that feature. Women are no longer the ones who have to make the first move. Guys can now message first too. Because what they and realized, they realized if we waited for women, it would never happen. I honestly think that might have something to do with it. I'm not in their world, so I don't have I'm, any of their characters. I'm just speculating. It's just funny to me. But it would actually but make yeah. sense. Well, because most women don't want mm. a future forward relationship. They want, or not, how do you say that? They want, some want a more traditional relationship and they want to be courted and not having yes. to do the courting. Yes. Okay. But with also, okay. I think society's, oh, where we go? I feel like frozen. No, it's fine. We'll just continue right. through it. Um, society's changing. And I think there's a mixture of people who are willing to be more forward. And then there's people who want to be pursued. And I think mm. we need to account for it. Okay. So you talked about the, 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 you think the fundamentals are sound. The fun fundamentals are fine, but it's the, uh, eco, it's the eco chamber. It's the environment, right? Okay. So I'm not in there. Explain to so me, I, explain to me what you mean. So environment as in like, so one thing, um, would start with me before there's a barrier to entry before you're allowed to enter the dating pool Okay. or attend one of the, um, in-person events. Oh, that's another thing. Okay. Um, we're in a hybrid model of in-person and online because that's just how society is shaped. So uh, we want to get people in person to actually have singles nights and actually get like, hey, we're all single. We're here in a certain event. Okay. You know, so you can court them online or whatnot, but create that real bridge environment. Okay. So one, we're following more in line with society shaped, but then there's a barrier to entry before you're allowed to get into the dating pool or attend one of the events. And it's to measure where you are on your self-discovery, like understanding oneself. Okay. So um, there's a section of it that's all about self-discovery. And then there's a section of it that talks about common definitions and understandings. That part hasn't been implemented yet. So you won't really see it in there when you go through the journey right now. The self-discovery portion that's psychology-based is we took quizzes that the psychology uses to identify and categorize and understand somebody's self on their self-reported value, right? Obviously, there's the whole professional side of things. It's not a diagnosis. It's just mm -hmm. you to take a self-administered, self-understanding test and then look at the results and see how they compare to your life. Okay. But so, just but you're still building, right? So that that, that what you're well, talking so about this is still portion building. is actually in place now. Okay, okay. The self-discovery portion is in yes. place now. Um, so we start out with introducing you to emotional intelligence. Uh, okay. And then we get you to measure your emotional intelligence because the only intent, the definition of emotional intelligence is understanding your emotions and how to respond to them appropriately. And then understanding other people's emotions and how to respond to them appropriately. So it's, it's a sort a of, super yeah. Concept. yeah, so it's like a sort of a hold on buddy before you jump into this let's check where you are at at the moment Let, let's check on you first yeah. that's actually makes a lot of sense because traditionally it's so just the other focuses on the other person the whole time there's no focus on this side exactly because mm, you can't change so one thing i learned through the failure of my marriage of all right, like the conflicts that we had back and forth yeah, yeah, yeah. was that uh, you have expectations of your other person resent the thing that really blew my mind resentment is your disappointment in somebody not responding or behaving the way you want them to oh that's a good one so to use that one. your only reason you're upset with them is because they're not doing what you want them to but the thing is you can't control anyone else mm. We know that and we talk about it all the time that the only thing you can focus on is you, but yet nobody really goes and practices it nearly as much. 
Mm -hmm. And so when I had that realization, I did the self work and I saw how much just a minuscule of self understanding, like vastly changed the way I showed up in my life. I was like, wow, there's small work, big reward. Mm -hmm. And we can push this up front and get this in front of people before their marriages or relationships fail. So if we actually give them the tool and understanding, like we'll remove a huge level of common problems and introduce another pro level of problems later on. But you know, those are the rich people problems. Those are the problems <laughs> you deal with success, right? <laughs> uh, how has that been received, right? How has your um, dealings with that been? Are people skeptical? Have they been sort of willing because it's hard right so my point being is it's hard when someone tells you no you need to take a look at yourself first no one i don't think people like that well so the funny part interviewing um potential customers and stuff the mm. most responses came from men mm. which i actually thought was really intriguing considering emotional intelligence and self-awareness is usually something preached by the side of women yeah, but it was the men who were like, "Oh my God, yes!" It was either I have sometimes it was from a, a point of view of like, "Yes, I need that," but two it was also like, "I know a lot of people who could use that." But yeah, it's it's so, yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah yeah. so you you sorry you said potential customers right? So there's no just automatic sign up process. It's first screening. What? Uh, what do you mean? So, yeah. No, no. I said the you said um potential customers or potential sign -ups. oh then, yeah during the research phase of building of flushing out the details of the project uh okay. the product okay so that was a thing learned during that stuff so right now we're in beta of the mvp like the yes. app is still under construction but you know it's a dating app so it's a chicken egg problem unless i yes. get people in there to flush out all the details and really work towards a goal and test it there's really not a lot of value i'm going to deliver and it's going to be based off of a lot of like well i think well yes. i think yes so right now i got the bare minimum in place it's you know um enough to get people in there and actually have a functional state of success yes uh and as we load people in there there's a lot of feedback sections built into it so that we can get a lot of feedback and responses because we want to address all of the problems that we can but we're also already making a big shift from what people are already used to. So we have to yes. secure what people aren't used to, get people comfortable with this, but then also make the adjustments where we account for the big problems that are going on. Talk to me a little bit about your timeline moving forward. Okay, so you are in beta. Um, how many months do you think you need to say, okay, we need to tweak this or we need to tweak that? um before you say okay cool I've, I've got what i need to do a hard launch um i have a feeling we're gonna do more of just a consistent rollout into uh, okay. a launch because it's as this grows and evolves so right now the whole product is built on bubble it's a it's a no code platform okay um it maintains good high, high quality data quality for security and everything it really gives us everything we need but it also gives us the agile state where we can move we can do entire user flow updates in less than a week like we could just push so fast that we can move mm -hmm. with the details coming in as we flush the product out but start with me is only one of the products it's <laughs> So I'm naming, naming conundrum in here. So I named the company Start With Me. The first product is Start With Me, the dating app. Yes. But there's going to be several other products that are aimed at um, different perspectives of the relationship. Okay. So Start With Me covers the single realm. Okay. So this also, um, Start With Us, is going to be a relationship app for people who are either in a relationship or starting a relationship. Yeah, because those, so, those people need help as well exactly and yeah. so and the thing is is once you get past the finding a date and getting into a relationship you're gonna need another mm. whole world, world of understanding as you go so start yep. with us you learn about you take your foundation and your partner's foundation or your partners depending on the shape of your relationship yeah and then you learn how those foundations base 
best work together based off of the things we already know in marriage therapy and psychology and like mm -hmm. there's already the field's been around for 20 plus years like there's already known behaviors and establishments and things that can be taught yeah to help connect people at a deeper level and then we'll push people down a journey of understanding and learning their partners and relationships but then we'll also branch off from there for another uh relationship app called start with them mm. for when you have children yes because, are you father yes 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 because you need to recalibrate your love life for having kids once you start introducing children in your relationship okay that old relationship is not the same as the relationship no, you have once kids. No, no, I'm going to tell you a story now was a very intelligent um, person told me. He said, um, you know each other before children, you have your life. You have, you know, there's a person that you know when you have children. And then there's the person that you know after children. And in what in each of those three phases you can lose each other you must never forget that you can't lose each other in any one because some people they're like for the first to go beautifully and then when the children are out of the house they look at each other and are like who is this person that i'm staring at there's no common denominator whatever so that's so super important what you're saying now it's just it's all facets of life it because um, you might go through the the dating yes we're getting married yes the children only to have it fall apart way at the end and you don't know why exactly and so that's the other branch and then there's going to be yeah. another app uh, flavor of teal okay. which is a relationship aimed at the sexual side of the relationship so it's understanding okay. yourself Super and important. your partner sexually yeah from a psychological standpoint, but then we dive deeper into love on the physical side of the relationship, okay. understanding and bonding, and then you're getting into kink and communication patterns. And there's a lot that can be delved out in expanding mm. that part of your relationship, because that's a very important part of relationships as well. So mm, our aim is to help educate people as they go through their journey and all these different aspects of the relationship. Now, like that. yeah, thank you. Um, so one of the really big core parts of giving back and really making a real change in society as the future goes mm -hmm. is core of the company is going to be a team of psychologists and behavior analysts and therapists and stuff. Mm -hmm. They'll be building out the content for all of these different various sections of the journey. Um, but they'll also be doing research on the data that's coming from all of these different apps and these people in these different mm. relationships mm. the state. Mm. And as we'll have, because we'll all be in house, we're going to have the account. We'll be able to be active on once you have an account for one app, you'll mm. have an account basically for all of them. For all Cause we're going to tie time. all the data sets back in the back. Yes. And then once we can take our data security and work with, uh, so there's a security company, Vultry. Okay. Um, it does holographic encryption. Yeah. They allow you to update encrypted data. Okay. So once we can bridge off of the current data structure into that level of security, um, I want to then partner with research organizations and universities to further the study of psychology and see how what we can derive out of understanding people in love because we, we have that huge society issue where like there's a mental health epidemic where people yes. are having problems understanding things and if we can bring love i would say accounts for most of people's lives hmm. like a good portion of their lives like if we could further the understanding and connection and quality of relationships in that way in psychology you know and because we'll be attached to people as they're establishing these relationships, mm -hmm. we can develop a symbiotic relationship with the data and actually create a dating app and relationship app company that evolves with society. So that. then we can be more uh, attentive to what's going on in people's worlds and actually be more relative and useful and provide more value. I love it. Dude, I'm looking so forward to following your journey. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If the listeners want to go and connect with you and start with me, where can they do that? Um, Startwithme.co, C-O. Okay. Okay. Um, as for the website, you can sign up for the web version, but we'll also be in the app store within the next week or so. 
Okay, cool. Um, we have a Facebook and Instagram and a TikTok that we need a lot of love. So <laughs> still with, working on it. We're rolling out. You can see how well it's rolling out now. Yeah, no, it's a work in progress as everything should be. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll put all the links in the comments. And to our listeners, peace, love, and prosperity. And we'll catch you in the next one.